This video contains zero calories, so enjoy. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and I'm here at PDX Land at its new home in Vancouver, Washington. I know that may, doesn't make any sense, PDX Land. It's in Vancouver. But I wanted to do a review of one PC I thought was the coolest PC here, and I think I found it. And it belongs to this guy who built it. This is uh, Nate right here. Why don't, why don't you tell him a little bit about this? Tell me, it's 5SG, right? That's your gaming team. Yeah, yeah. 5SG, maybe. Everybody you see with the orange and black back there, are, are part of this team. Well, anyways, the reason his computer caught my eyes, look at that, look at that case. You know, it kind of looks, you know, it kind of looks kind of plain, right? I mean, it's just smoke side on the case. Or is it? So as you guys can clearly see, that is not a smoked side panel. That is an LCD side panel. Yep, yep. And it's not the iBuy power case. Everybody's no. like, it's the iBuy power case. No, he did that completely custom. 100%. By tearing apart an old rat. He was a Sony. Uh, yeah. Sony LCD screen. From a dumpster. With a, from a dumpster Free. with a VGA cable. $3.99 to do that. Just check that out, guys. I mean, you can literally see through the side of the case or you can completely black it out and you can even play full color content. Isn't that the neatest effect you've ever freaking seen on a case? And he did this completely himself in his garage. It's freaking awesome. All right, Nate, so what possessed you to uh, put an LCD on the side of your oh, case man. here? So I got invited by a friend to PDX Land uh, in February of 2018. I had to have something different. This is my dream case. I always kind of had it and I needed to finish it. I build computers for other people all the time. I had, I had to get mine ready, so I wanted to do something different. They got that uh, iBuy Power Snowblind. Well, I, I only got 300 bucks for a side panel, so I uh, made my own. Is that what they're charging? 300 bucks for a side panel? I believe so. Oh my um, gosh. Quick shout out to Mod Skeeter who did this in 2013. First to document it, could not do this without him. His he just did it. He did it first. He did it well. We'll put a link down below in the description of some check, of the information in out. case you guys want to tackle this project yourself. Try it. Because you did this in your garage, right? Two and a half weeks. So, so you didn't have to like go thing. get Whole Elon thing. Musk or Boeing to use special tooling to do this. No, you no, just no. Uh, got some uh, tools and did it yourself. Yeah, yeah. So, and it didn't require anything special. It was just an old style LCD. It's only like, what? what's the resolution on it? Like 720p? Yeah, or? if that. It's a four if by that. three display. Yeah. So. But you'd never know when you're looking through it here. It's just, oh man, that is so cool. I mean, you have to see it in person, guys. This is like, I don't think the video is doing it justice here, honestly. This is nuts. Check out this real-time information, guys, being shown right here on the side of the case. If you can display it on a regular screen, you can display it on here, it's just, it gets floating in space. I think that is so freaking cool. How did you With magic, he's oh, a wizard, right. dude. Now, because it is an actual LCD screen in the side of the case, where white is the absence of basically opacity. You can see clearly right through it, and black is like completely blocked. I think that that's actually really, really cool. So when you play video and stuff, you need a white backdrop. And that's why you see the entire inside of the case is painted white. Because if the case wasn't painted white, it just wouldn't look right, see, no, right? You have to, you have to have it. It has to be white, it's yep. white, it's like you can get. So, so if you guys are gonna do this yourself, make sure that regardless what the outside of the case looks like, the inside needs to be a very brilliant, White. And the other thing is, you guys aren't gonna believe how much light you need to make this work. Yeah, you need a lot of light. Like if you look at the side there, it looks like you might just have like a couple LEDs in there. No, 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 no. Hold on. Seriously, looks like he has a grow operation going on inside of this case. There is so much freaking light. Check Don't this let out. him know how I figured out the skill. <laughs> so basically what he did is a ring of LEDs around the perimeter of the inside of the case shining inward. And because you have all that glossy white, it reflects and kind of comes back through the LCD. And it gives you this amazing effect. And if you look at it in the dark, it's, it's, it's super, super vivid. If you look at it in the light, it looks completely solid. It almost looks like ink or like an e-ink display. It doesn't yeah, really yeah. even look like an LCD. And you can change the translucency, as you can see, to whatever you want. It's, it's cool and it can display anything that a monitor would normally display. You could even put stats up on there like CPU, memory, all of that stuff can be displayed on this. You could probably even play a game on it, but you'd suck royally at it. Not only does it have a screen on the side, but he couldn't just stop there. He had to also put a screen in the front. Check this out, it's a touch screen. 
touch screen that controls the CD drive, and it also looks like you can change the audio settings. Yeah, yeah, I use it to switch between the headphones and uh, my surround sound, so it depends what I'm playing, you know? Dude, that's so cool. And that's just a, that's just another base cheapy screen off of like Amazon or something, oh, right? 70 bucks, China Direct, man. China Direct. Pure Chineseium, guys. Get it before the tariffs go up. When I started this in February, it was a 2500K with a 660. For PDX land, I upgraded. 2600K overclocked to 5.0. Whoa. And uh, in a little uh, 970, I got off Craigslist. Nice, you just got a little 970 to drive in this whole experience? Yeah, yeah, I have my Counter-Strike and it does I'm the job. Shocked. Now the LCD on the side, is that being run off of the, nine, the 970 or is that uh, being run off the onboard graphics? Intel integrated. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, both, both side displays are Intel and then uh, Help, helps out a little bit, slacking in CPU power, but uh, it works. When you first look at it, guys, like in person, I'm trying to explain because I don't think the video is going to do it justice. It looks like you just put a pattern on the screen. I mean, it looks like you just like overlaid some uh, uh, like screen tint yeah. or something like that. It's, just, it's when it starts of... moving that you like go, whoa, what's going on? So the way he has it set up is he has one screen here, but he also has the side screen and the front screen on the case mapped in Windows as actual displays. So he can literally drag anything off the desktop over to those displays and they'll be shown on the side panel. Like I could take this if I wanted to. And let's see, slide it way over, over here, over yonder. So now we have the display settings on the front of the case. So it's basically just laid out like he has three monitors on a desktop, but one's on the side of the case, one's on the front of the case, and one is an actual screen to game on and stuff. Absolutely. I think and that's awesome. This can be useful. Uh, one thing a lot of people like to see on there, Discord. Is it in here, man? Oh, dude. You can switch, you can chat, you can send the links. You can, I want to be in that channel. It's That's awesome. Like so when you're gaming in a land, you got useful data here. If you wanted to, you could display stats and any other information you want live if you weren't doing video. Over here, this is actually a very useful mod, even though at first you think, oh, this is just cosmetic, but it does have a use. It's useful, but it's finicky. Very it takes finicky. a lot of software. It takes a lot of configuring, a lot of text files. It, but it's worth it. It's fun. It feels it's fun. good when you get it right. If you like to it? tinker, dude, this will, this will tickle your fancy. Dude, this is, this is absolutely friggin' amazing. You guys recognize that as MSI Afterburner? Here, watch this. He's gonna drag it over. And there it is. On the side of the screen. And then if you want it back. <laughs> Dude, that is just so awesome. It works, man. It works. <laughs> and it's just the effect is undeniably cool. This is this is obviously like one of the coolest things I've ever seen, and I've and I've seen the I buy power snowblind case. Yeah, it does not look as good as that. Honestly, I've, I've looked at it; it just does not pop like that thing does. Yeah. It's crazy. I definitely want to do this. So huge thanks to Mr. Nate here for allowing me to come over here and review his little case for you guys because this is a freaking crazy mod. I'll have some information down in the video description. I think I even want to try to tackle this myself because I have some ideas. Do it. I was thinking even maybe not even a computer case, just just like maybe putting it against the wall and like you know, moving it out six oh, inches. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it just looks like it's hovering almost like a hologram. Oh yeah. So many applications for this guys and the programs that we could develop to work on this and show data, like actual usable tangible data. It's awesome. So awesome. Man, you did an awesome job, Peace out. dude, out of all the computers, all 800 and some odd computers in this room. That's the one that caught my eye today. That means a lot to me. So, I love dude, when people look. Dude, and I guarantee you people are gonna go nanners over this. I mean, you're gonna have the three trolls that'll be like, oh, this is stupid, I can do it better. Do it better. But, but they can't. Do it better. They, they, they really can't. So trust me, I've been in this business long enough to know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I see a lot of really cool cases here at PDX Land and PC Builds that are just awesome from an aesthetic standpoint, but I don't really see a lot of stuff that has like that kind of ingenuity into it. It's like, yeah, they do the, they do the like physical appearance, something that's pretty to photograph. But seeing like something like that that's motion and art in motion and actually functionable and usable, it's a lot cooler than my shitty setup I brought. <laughs> I really phoned it in on this PDX land, guys. I brought my uh, my laptop, my Cleveland laptop. It actually did really well. It did really well. And I brought the Microsoft Surface Book, which is the most worthless thing ever created. But it worked all right for doing live streaming and compositing and everything like that. But overall, I had a blast at this PD Slam. That was the computer. I, did, I wasn't even gonna shoot a video, but I saw that computer over there and I was like, I had to learn more. I'll put as much information as I can down in the video description showing you guys how to do what he did and link you to the articles and stuff like that if you guys wanna take a stab at it. And if you guys do it yourself, please tag me on Twitter, at Barnick, please. I wanna see what your guys' results are and please list like what you used, what monitor you tore apart and stuff like that because once I got the confidence to do it, I'm gonna do it. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, I have 760 others just like it on my channel. Link is down in the video description. Also consider subscribing 
and ring in the bell if you guys want to see notifications for new videos coming out. If you like seeing content like this, reviews of land parties, I'm kind of all across the nerd spectrum. But if you like seeing stuff like this video, let it be known down in the comments because that's what steers me and drives me in a direction. So guys, if you want to see more, tell me. If you don't want to see more, tell me. If, you, if you're indifferent, tell me.